are finally getting around to sorting the garden. Finally, I know this title says getting ready for spring, I think. Spring has sprung. Spring is here. Today is Easter Sunday, so like it, it's it's spring. So I finally get in my like ass in gear and sort in the garden. I'm just gonna address this very quickly. If my eyebrows look a bit I have just filmed the short of trying the by Ellie Brow shape and it dried very, very quickly before I could shape them correctly. So if they look a little bit wild today, they're gonna get better. It's just it dried very quickly. Anyway, we are heading out into the back garden. I don't think we're gonna do anything in the front garden, but I don't show you guys that anyway because I'm trying to be, you know, internet safe. We have a few things we're gonna get done today. I am focusing on jet washing the paving stones. I'll show you the mess of them. They're a mess. And Jack is gonna, I think he wants to cut the hedges. I'm gonna let him explain the plan for the garden because he is very much the one who does all the gardening, growing crops, for lack of a better word. Fruit and veg and stuff like that. And he will be able to explain it far better than me so i'll give you him to explain that but we're gonna get going because we're gonna start jet washing pretty soon so this is the back of the house i'll explain what jack's doing in a second we have these disgusting stones and then we have these disgusting stones this is what i'm jet washing this gets ridiculous basically because of what's happening here do you want to explain this is where walkley turns over the toilet for we and it stinks doesn't it yeah like the stones are disgusting Man. and you can kind of see that like down here it's green where the water sits and you can see like a, a light pack there where he runs. Mm -hmm. So the water just doesn't drain away, which is proof by I've put some water in that gap there. And it's, it, that's been there for like 20 minutes now. It's not going away. So I thought I want to see what's underneath here. And it looks like... In the middle. In the middle. It looks like stones. Yeah. So, but they're all uneven, so I don't understand it. But in the corners, like in that corner and then that corner, it just looks like a slab of concrete. So... Because ideally we would want something fixed so that we could, um, so there's a drainage, mm -hmm. but... And we also kind of want to clean the stones. And if we, if, if these were here, we were tempted to ask the landlords if we could mo the take the stones off and just have this, but I don't know. I don't know. I definitely want the stones cleaned though, because they're disgusting. Like, I'll they're green. But at least we know now what's under that stone to start this whole... Unevenness. I don't know if they can tell from... Because them, them three stones there are even, but that one's like a decent, like, a decent step up. Unless that's why the previous owners did this, because they didn't want to deal with the unevenness of the paving stones that they put down. Anyway, what else have, what else are we wanting to tackle today? We're going to trim the hedges. They're getting a bit long. We're going to pick up some soil from a planter that fell apart last year. <laughs> you wanting a power wash? I am wanting a power wash, yeah. Um, and just tidy up, because I mean, there's like, the window is a bit mean as well. I well, I can do that with power washing though, can't I? Trim these again, then we'll put the trimmers. Yeah, uh-huh. And then pick up all the rubbish that ends up in our garden. Like, is that a vape packet? Oh, honestly, the amount of rubbish that flies in here is rid ridiculous. Like, that's not us. So where's that came from? I don't know. This is the soil uh, that Jack needs to clean up because it fell apart like the wood just rotted away so this is the task I think I'm going to start over here whilst you sort that okay should I trim this person before we start power washing yeah can do
pictures are all cut, all of them. They are a little bit in places, still a bit long, but I just, I, I want it to be out a little bit more. So I've put it to where I want. We've moved everything. It's so hard with all like the shadows and the light, but we've moved everything across so I can start jet washing on this side. Jack's moved everything that was here. The jet washer is plugged in and ready to go but i am uh, getting a little bit hungry so we're gonna break and have some lunch and then i'll start on the jet washing and jack is gonna go outside of the fence and do the other side of the bushes because the other side also needs done and if they get too long they'll die so i'm gonna break for lunch and then keep going But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that in the real suspense Basically, half of the, I'll take this off so you can actually see me. Basically, right, so half of the, I think you can see where it's done actually, in the corner, it's up to there. I'm gonna keep going, it's about half five, but it was, we changed to daylight savings last night. So, it's gonna be light until like eight o'clock, so I'm just gonna keep going. Do you wanna fill them in and what's the situation with this? Yeah, so I've filled the holes back in. Um, I dug a bit out first, a bit more out, like around where that, raised bit of stone was. There was more raised bits of stone that was completely random. Height and stuff. So I don't think it's paving stones or like stones with shapes in them. I think it's like it's been concrete. I think point. it's just been laid. Yeah. Bad concrete. It's so bumpy though, isn't it? Like it's weird how bumpy it is. Yeah, I think the like because I think I've mentioned it in the vlogs before, but I think the owner who had this house, who did stuff to the house, so who did the kitchen, who did electricals, who's done the outside. I think they were a little bit, um, they were trying to keep it done affordably. They were DIY house owner. Yeah, right maybe, right. or they've just hired terrible tradespeople. Yeah. Not our, not our um, landlord. landlord, because we saw it when they first bought it, so it, this was how it was done. But I think they've just literally just chucked concrete down because they knew they were going to put pebbles over and they've just not like leveled it, they've not done anything. I think they've literally just chucked it, left it and then it's terrible. Then Jack's looked into, well both of us, has looked into how to clean those stones and we just can't figure it out. A lot of them are saying like that you um, you would soak them with a hose in like a wheelbarrow that's got holes in it and stuff like that and you can do it in buckets but it's just... It would take absolutely forever. It would take forever and we'd just be putting it back down for the problem would be back in a couple of months time. Yeah because there's, cause no, there's drainage. no drainage. Like that's the issue with all the pavement, I mean you'll have seen it in the time lapse, mm. but like there's no drainage on the paving stones either because like look i mean first of all can you believe that this is the color of them and that's the color that they've been this is what i mean by just like there's no, no drainage that's just that's full on because it's just algae because the and water can't go just yeah slipping there whereas because there's just nowhere for the water to go and then like look at this 
because even once it gets to the end of the paving stones, there's no tilt. So it doesn't go anywhere. And this is what I mean by I think it's just been done not well thought through. Mm. Because like there's just parts where it sits, like it's here where Jack's standing. Huge puddles. Didn't see that. Yeah, so it's just it's just difficult. So yeah, I've um, I filled the holes back in over there. I've, with the stones. With the stones that were there. I've chopped down the ivy grows um so it's not growing along the floor anymore. Um I've picked up rubbish and I've weeded. There's a couple of bits of rubbish flying about but Are you gonna pick up all the leaves? I don't think I can because they're just they're mush. I don't know, I just don't think I, I could try picking up individual leaves but the bit in the middle at the, the, the back is just much, like much. It just looks so bad, that's the thing. Yeah. It just looks terrible. Anyway, that's where we're at. We're gonna keep on going. It is quarter past seven. First of all, look how light it is. Absolutely stunning. This is beautiful. I am excited for the light nights. God, is it actually quarter past seven? Wild. Uh, as you can probably tell, <laughs> done. It's not completely done. Jack's just putting the hose away. And he, he'll run through the plans for the rest of the garden. I'm still in my disgusting, unflattering, gardening. Look at the mess of me. I don't know if you can see how dirty this is. Vile. Whilst Jack's sorting the hose, let me show you what's happened. There we go. Jack's wrapped some of these plants up from last year, put the planters back. Obviously there is mud everywhere still. I, like, it's a losing battle. There's mud everywhere. There's gonna be mud everywhere. And there's a walk on it. Yeah, more mud. All of the trees have been trimmed. Then I have, oh, you wouldn't think it. I've jet washed. <laughs> the steps and the door frames and the window frames but I mean they're still disgusting. Jack's trimmed all of the ivy. Oh, see it's just mulch minging. But look how doesn't that make such a difference? The oh it looks so much better. Right can you go through what your plans are for yeah. planting? I don't even think we've explained this planter at the back. No so I, I bought that from Facebook Marketplace. There was two of them that were like that bottom level and I've chopped one in half put it on top to make it like a bit taller. Let me just get on that my spreadsheet. <laughs> Broccoli, likely going to go in that one there. Again, mm -hmm. cucumbers will go here and I'll have a plate of tuck out. Because last year I used plastic, like wire, to like make a crisscross thing. This year I'm going to use string. Pak choy is going to go in there. This one here, I think. Right. I'm going to build two more of these to replace that one and then just get rid of that one. So, um Because it's falling apart. Because it's falling apart. And I think what I'm going to do is, with those there, because there's enough of them, I'm going to create like a small arch between them to then grow pumpkins over the top in one of those and in the other one it's finished okay yeah. and he's got a spreadsheet so he needs to plant stuff but what's the plan now because obviously like before we started this you were saying you need to start planting soon so that's why we've done this mainly today so you can start planting so what's the plan now so i need to start planting between march beginning of april for a lot of that stuff um, i need to build planters first because I've had, and like all in all those pots in the planter there are all pumpkin seeds, like ready to go in. But um, I can't really plant anything until I've got more planters. I can probably start planting like these, but to be honest, I need more topsoil for it. Oh, really? Yeah, because the level's getting a bit low. So yeah, I just need to build them. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Got strawberries in that. So I'm just going to protect them because they're starting to flower. That is blueberries as well, which I planted last year, but I didn't get them from. But I reckon we'll get loads from it this year. And then we've got furniture that gets brought out, but we don't want it to go minging. So it just gets brought out when we come out. That table needs to take up the tip. <laughs> <laughs> this was our dining table when we first moved in together. And we've just kept it since. And then it became an outdoor table. And it's just... <laughs> it's just fallen apart. But it's lasted away, what, eight years? Yeah. So it's done its time. I just want... It just looks terrible. And it's the bit that you can see like out of the house. So I just want it sorted, but I just don't know what the solution is. And then we also need to clean out the shed. Yeah, and if, if we want to, and if we have time to paint this, because this is all like coming out. Yeah, mm -hmm. But yeah, it's getting there. Yeah. But it's started for spring. Yeah, uh, it looks better already. It does look better. Anyway, I'm gonna go take these disgusting clothes off. Uh, I've spent the majority of this vlog looking horrific. Yeah, you're filthy, aren't you? I am, I am absolutely disgusting, but Never mind. Anyway, it's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any videos for like this kind of stuff. Or any suggestions. Yeah. Uh huh. Please let me know. If you could leave it a like, comment, subscribe, share, all the usual stuff, that would be great. But if not, thank you so much for making it to the end and I shall hopefully see you in another video. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>